Today on the Rager Rods, we get the dodgeball steering, and make sure you watch to the end so you don't miss out on the most important part because it could cost you your life. Now you saw in the last two episodes working on the dodgeball that we mounted the seats to figure out where to put the steering column and then mounted the steering column. Well today, we're connecting that steering column to the power steering box. The easiest way to do this is to have one shaft and two universal joints like this setup right here. In order to get this to work, the angle of attack on your U-joints have to be equal and opposite to avoid any wear and tear on your steering system. We don't have a straight shot to our power steering box, so we're doing this bottom one with three universal joints and a swivel eye bolt. We have a three quarter inch 30 spline on one of our U-joints to three quarter DD. One U-joint that's three quarter DD on both sides. And our final one is three quarter inch DD on one side and one inch DD to go into our steering column. And the swivel eye bolt is a three quarter inch eye through the center with a swivel and this side is three quarter inches as well. We also have some scrap steel to fabricate a mount to mount the eye bolt. Let's take a look at what we're working on. Here's our steering column and then right down here is our steering box. So we tried to set this up as a two u-joint one shaft setup however we get some interference here with our engine mount that prevents us from doing that. So we're going to try and utilize this stock notch where the steering shaft was originally mounted. Put a U-joint right about here to bridge us from the second U-joint to the steering column. I'm going to put a mark on here on where my best guess that it needs to be. Cut this shaft, get it mocked up so we can figure out where to mount that eye bolt. Right about there. Yeah, so that's like right there. All right, let's go get this mocked up. <laughs> Just another day at the Roy Garage. Okay, you think they'll have to pay him for that? All right, let's go to get this slid in there. Well, that looks pretty nice. Hey. Huh? There we go. Okay, now it's at least locked in. Let's get that other one over here. Yeah, we gotta hack like an inch off that. There we go. Ooh, I like this. I like the clearance between here, I like the clearance between the chassis. Shoot. I should have put that eye bolt on there. Just to help test fit this, figure out where it needs to go. I really like it right there. We might have to have it back a little bit further, depending on our mounting surface, how far that is away from the steering. All right, I want to jack this up now and see before we design a mount, make sure we don't have any binding. Should we give that a shot? How's it going? It's going good. I'm barely even it. It's turning. I'll back the other way. Well, I think I think we're good because if it's not binding now, that's ideal. All right, I'm pretty sold on how I want to mount that. It's gonna go like this, the bolt's gonna go through it, and I wanna make it tight to where that bolt is kinda of wedged in there so it doesn't spin. So that way I can pinch it with the bolt up here. But I plan on taking that angle iron, making one side, 
and then welding a piece here. When you're looking down the chassis, it, like one side goes like this. That way I can cut these kind of to the contour of it and then try and put a bead all along that. You know what I'm saying? Might be tricky. It's tricky, 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 tricky. But it, it's going to be sweet. I think a chap saw would cut that good. I wouldn't touch that. That's probably hot. It's not as hot as I thought it was going to be. God. You have gloves on, but then you forget you have a hole in one of them. And you touch the hot metal with the hole. Do I put it there, or do I put it... There. Oh, I definitely have to cut this one shorter. I got a couple things pretty good. Remember, I wanted to put this just as wide as this thing. I just might have to tack that in there. How's that? I need to cut this though. How thick is that? E8. E eight. I started off a little light, not that hot, but it's only got to be a little stronger than Lee's hand. <laughs> what gave that away? Holy smokes! It's pretty smooth. I mean, it looks like something. You just grind it up, grind it down, and it looked like it never it was welded. It looked like it was just one piece. <laughs> yeah, okay, good one. <laughs> You know a good way to find center on this, Leroy? I don't. X marks the spot. Right there. Voila! That is beautiful. B E A beautiful. Make sure that it's in the middle. Yeah, just like that. You're gonna tack it in. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think that's going nowhere. I feel like the next step is to notch part of this out. You know? Yeah. It looks something. I feel like it went a little high. Oh, shit. You mean shoot? I mean shoot kebabs. Dang, Jake Roy. Seems alright. Alright, let's test fit this, huh?
You know, that kind of seems all right right there. It does. How is it? Good. All right, we'll mark where you want to tack it in there. And... Well, I gotta take paint off. Huh? Oh, sure. Should I tack it in right there? Tack it in. Tack it in, tack, tack it in. in. How's it look? I think we run a few more beads, take this, disassemble this a little bit, run some more beads. I think that looks a-okay. Yeah. Looks like it came that way stock almost. Oh, that's stock. What are you talking about? That's stock all the way. You want to turn me off before I actually pull the trigger again? The smoke's coming out of the chassis. Okay. Probably because there's paint on the other side. There's a hole today. I know. You put a hole in it. No, that was alright. I'm going to drive her down a little bit. Go back it off one half spin and tighten the nut down a skosh. Ready? Dude, bro, that looks so smooth, does it not? Now that we have our steering all set up, we do have one last step, and this is one of the most important steps, is we have to spot drill a hole on our shaft so the set screws can sit below the surface of the shaft, and this ensures that your shaft doesn't come out and keeps everything nice and tight and safe. Don't skip this step. I mean, I'm going to mark it and see if it is. Yeah, see, look at that one. That's and that good. one. Yeah. We gotta make a new shaft. That's nowhere near where it needs to be. Flashback. Yeah, we gotta act like an inch off that. Dang it, what an idiot! <laughs> that one looks good. You can see in here when I line this up, you can't even see the shaft sticking out. And that's not good. We want it. We want it sitting right about there. Should we toss this back in there and see if we can't get a mark? Well, that was pretty flush. It's flush right here. That's money. This one's also flush. I like where that one's at, but we have to make sure we're in the right spot on our power steering box. It's too far. That's pretty close, right there. See, we gotta nick a little of this off. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you don't know how well you're sitting in here, though. Oh, that's true. You gotta be in that slot right there. Oh, keep going. Look right there. Might as well mark that, huh? Oh, there's a little bit of this in there. Yeah, yeah. Where's that mark at now? Look at that. That's where our mark is. We're flush. So, mark, mark. That one's both marked, and then that one has a slot. So, everything's marked. Let's get things drilled out. That kind of looks like the picture, doesn't it? How's that, boss? 
Oh yeah. That's nice. All right. Let's do it to it. Making sure we have this one in the right orientation. Slide that on there. Same with this one. That way. You know what we didn't do? Nervous going any deeper than that. That way. Hey, there we go. One more here. Remember that. Alright, all the ones up there done. Now I just got to go and tighten all these nuts down. Get it, baby. Well, you've made it this far in the video. We haven't smashed our fingers, so you should smash that subscribe button. That one's pretty tight. Yes, yes. That's pretty tight, too. Dude, bro. We got it, dude. That thing is freaking tighter than tight, baby. But if you enjoy watching the dodgeball on this chassis swap, make sure you check out the playlist in the upper left-hand corner. If you just enjoy the Roy Garage, click the video right over here and or over here, wherever they are. Um, also, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.